So Scott, how many acres of irrigated land would you say you have here in the community of Verado? Well, right now we're at about 220 acres. Um, of that, we have uh, 40 that are turf. We have about 50 that are native wash areas that we maintain as well as, as put a little irrigation to to make sure we, we uh, keep the trees healthy. Keep the and stuff, trees yeah. healthy and, and then we have about 125 acres of what we would call low water use, xeriscape, DG type landscape uh, throughout the community. Well, what public spaces are being irrigated? Public spaces are tree-lined streets, which is a big part of what we are here at Verado, as well as parks. We try to design the community so that the folks come out the front door, they have a park, they have a shady street. Describe some of the water issues you've had here at Verado. There's been a couple of them, and it has more to do with the landscape, especially this size going in this fast. You really have to manage the water to make sure you get your plant material to live and not overuse it. We have 144 controllers out here and upwards of 4,000 valves that need to be managed from one location. So we've gone to a state-of-the-art system to make sure we do that. Now I know you've partnered with Horizon and they've helped us on some of our projects. What have they done for you here? Horizon's been a great partner. Um, they've been with us from the day one stages of planning through design, through construction, through the installation, and now even the maintenance phase are still with us since 2003. Everything helping us design the right system for what we need out here from a commercial standpoint and water management standpoint to be in there to make sure it gets installed correctly. Um, it does no good to put the right system in if it isn't put in correctly. So they've worked with us all the way through um, to this day, as a matter of fact, as far as new technology that continues to come out in the irrigation and water management world. Well, you got a beautiful community out here at Verado and really appreciate you inviting us to come out and take a look. Well, thanks, Pete. So Pat, I was talking to Scott about all the water issues out here at Verado. When you have a project like Verado, where do you even start? Well, big projects like Verado or your home, you always start with the water source. What, what do you have available for you to be able to water? In Verado, it's a little bit different, of course, because of the size. So from looking at your water source, then you go to what type of plants are you going to water? And then how are you going to get it done and how fast do you need to get it done? So you need to have a system that, uh, a controlling system, that is flexible enough to take in all those different types of micro environments that you might experience around a project this size. You provided us with one of your new smart controllers for our new install project. But if a homeowner has an existing controller and they want to upgrade to one of these more water efficient ones, what's involved? Safety first. We want to isolate that power. We want to uh, locate where the circuit breaker is that provides power to our controller. Uh, second, then we, it's a simple process of removing the valve wires and the power wires and then removing the controller, uh, installing up the new one uh, with anchors and uh, bring in those valve wires and the power wires back again and we go ahead and program it. Now there's also some other components that might be involved with that though. Absolutely. Uh, some smart controllers will use a secondary device such as a rain switch or a temperature sensor that will need to be hung on the side of the house, usually up at the eave. We want to make sure that we don't have water runoff from the roof when it does rain going right into our rain switch. That might affect the readings that it's putting out. So I know there's some advice actually that a homeowner can give to their professional and that's that they do their research and they get their products at the right place and not at some big box store. Absolutely, Pete. Uh, most big box stores around the corner from you aren't going to carry these products. Um, you can always visit uh, various websites you know, for manufacturers, but we encourage you to go to horizononline.com as well as your professional be able to research these things and we can come out and even do an on-site analysis and help your professional be able to complete the job right.